Hey yo. I am currently looking up some stuff for today. Um, so I have not done any of the farming I said I would because what happened was I got into this like a huge amount of work towards uh the next pack. And it turns out some of the mods that I was actually like relying on um to do the uh to do with the pack have either are in very broken states so i'm going to leave it alone for now um but that's that took up a lot of my day yesterday because i was trying to find alternatives if that was available or you know that sort of stuff um yeah, sadly enough, that didn't work. So, what I'm going to do instead... Um... <clears throat> is I'm going to go through and uh, set up some manual stuff of doing the farm. But I thought what we could also do is... Um, actually get these uh get the upgrades and stuff that uh would be useful so currently i'm looking for i should be in here right So yeah, we can accomplish all of these quite easily, including this, which gives us luck. That's the big thing. Because we're going to upgrade the cleaver. So what we need is... Uh, do I not have creeper heads? I thought I did. Wow. I'm pretty sure any head works for it, but still. If I haven't already done this. Uh, I don't remember what I have done. Book and Quill. I'm pretty sure I've done that one, because that's one I almost always do. Uh, it, it was an end crystal as one. And then there was a music disc. just make a cat and we'll use the dragon head on it again like i said uh it'll just make things more coherent so we do that cannot be above yep so we've already done that one already done that one haven't done that one haven't done that one and there we go get another ability So, oh, it's already got uh, luck on here. That's right. So now I can try and put um, the other thing on. If I can, because I think it's two more re levels of reinforced. Which... There it is. A bunch of stuff for him. Uh, whoops, wrong way. Awesome, so that's that. And then... Oh, sorry, I have a bit of an itch.
We need the ability of Breakable. So, two Shulker shells, two in the other right, and a Dragon's Breath. Also, I actually want to get, while well, I remember, there's a couple of uh, slotless modifiers that might be useful. Um... No. We could do that. Might be pretty. That's an uh, enchanted golden apple. And that's it. Okay. Oh, it also requires netherite. Fuck. And I'm assuming needs diamond. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's out of upgrades, right? That's actually quite painful. I mean, I can do this quickly. I mean, 75% chance to not lose durability is fine enough, I guess. And how much damage does it do? Almost eight. Yikes. I say yikes. That's not absurd, but it's not... It's kind of like they're very much a... Well, in comparison to what we can do with, like, this weapon, not that much. But in comparison to, you know, a reasonable weapon, that's not too bad. He doesn't even one shot a zombie. Wow, that is very laggy. You know what I was just thinking? Uh, isn't it the flute? No, it's the horn, isn't it? Dragon Horn. I'm going to do this for the sake of reducing potential lag that this might be causing. Because, um, again, that mod's extremely uh, damaging to computers. At the best of times. So I'm also going to just quickly get rid of these little bits here, just to ensure that there's nothing that walks across. Um...
and i mean because like the other thing is right is that the main reason you go get worried about like unbreakable is because you don't want to have to spend all the resources to constantly do it but it also just streamlines the like gives more efficiency because it means i don't have to be out repairing it constantly i guess that's not much of an issue like i can basically do the entire process uh on the fly because i do have an emc tinker's anvil i believe Also, yes, I'm going to actually remove that now because it's just been detrimental. Uh, I didn't end up finding, by the way, the uh, things like I wanted to. So I think the best answer is to just... Uh, do I not have any? I'm sure I had some somewhere. Is it in the other bag? No. I guess I'm out now. Huh. I was going to say it's because I was just going to put a uh, Totem of Undying in there. Just an additional one. Um, But yeah, no, so... The intention with today is to farm the Ender Dragon, get a bunch of Ender Heads, maybe... I don't know, like, a number of them, and, uh, then just, you know, not care. Now, there was a ritual I saw from Astral Sorcery that would help me out a lot, but I'm gonna be honest... I would have to look up the video, and I should have done that beforehand, yes. Uh, but I'm, it's too late now, and I'm not going to look up a video and watch it while I'm in the middle of doing a stream. Now, I'm going to pull out this... Oh, and now it's to the process of just killing the Ender Dragon over and over again. Because I don't know there's also a beheading enchantment. Infinity Hammer. Apparently that's got a really good thing for beheading.
Um, so something that I kind of um, came across the other day was uh, one of my uh, more watched channels that I uh, watch in my free time. Um, talking about the concept of his uh, content and something that I've seen a lot of content creators actually that I follow talking about is like the purpose behind what their content is trying to do and where they see success and I find that really fascinating because um, obviously this channel's not exactly in the any regards of successful I mean it's successful in the regard that like for a channel that's like starting out uh, and that's only been going for like three four months basically properly there it is cool got the head um i feel it's kind of not doing too bad um but i do think that there's a lot that i can improve on and stuff like that um but yeah no uh and the discussion really was um that like that there are either focusing on very specific games which i'm very much not doing i'm doing quite the opposite uh, I have a couple of key games, but outside of that, I uh, try and do my best to um, diversify what I'm playing. Um, just because I feel that it would get stale otherwise, as well as if I was to keep doing this. A common complaint I hear of uh, YouTubers is that they wish that they'd diversified their content earlier so they could diversify their content because if they don't do it earlier um it becomes quite a hard transition um and again like this fits my pl uh my personality more is that like i just play a bunch of different things and see how it all goes um but another thing that's kind of come forward with that discussion that they were made uh that w the first one was making was how um people would view his content and how like that impacts both the philosophy he has towards his content and um more or less the videos that he tries to create and that made me think like what kind of content was i aiming for because i mean like while again i'm not substantially through my uh thing and i can't make a too substantial of a uh statement I do find it um, a tad fascinating to kind of go like what kind of content do I want to actually produce um, and that led me to thinking about it and uh, the another YouTuber talked about in the past that he makes content that he would watch which is kind of what my intention is and then I just thought over very hard what kind of content do I watch and it sounds really horrible in some regards but I like content that I can switch my brain off to um or is just off like uh, uh, second monitor content in general like I'm playing something or I'm working on something can I just listen to people talk and they'll have tangents um and they'll big certain questions that have either long-reaching uh aspects of it or uh very much not and i quite enjoy those sorts of personalities of uh on youtube so i think 
if I'm going to keep following up on this content, I'm going to basically target the idea of doing, um, like, again, second monitor content. This is something you can put on while you're chilling out and doing a game or you're uh, maybe trying to fall asleep because let's be perfectly honest my voice is quite monotone and that apparently is uh, very soothing for some people especially if I'm just discussing things in a nice plain manner uh, talking about like the intricacies of uh, certain events um, so I think what I'm going to do is actually follow the example of one of the YouTubers I follow and um, start writing kind of like a, when I come up with an idea for a tangent or something, um, Sorry, I was just very focused on trying to get that last hidden. Um, you have a tangent of some kind, I would, uh... Okay, that was just kind of funny. Um, I'd write it down and, uh, save it for the streams and stuff like that. Because that actually sounds like a really cute little, uh, way to just create, um, story points. Because that's something that I will admit I struggle with a little bit at the moment. Is starting the conversation myself when I'm just sitting here talking and looking at a screen. And yeah, basically, this is kind of the first tangent that I'm actually going to structure like this. Um, so I thought it would be interesting to try it out. Um, but yeah, no, like I, I really feel that like with the intention I have behind what I see YouTube as, um, I don't want to make it like at this point in time, I'm not expecting to do it as a anything but a hobby. Um, I'm still looking for a real substantial job that I can do, um, and support both me and my partner, um, and any future plans we have. And that's the big hard part about doing all this sort of stuff is, well, I'd love to commit to YouTube because I'm actually really enjoying doing it now. I guess it's just because I'm a lot older and I've done a lot more shit. So I feel that now I've got a lot more to compare against. And in the past when I was younger, I just kind of had hesitations. Um, cause I, like I've tried to do YouTube before and I just never wanted to commit to it because every time I tried it, I'm just like, oh, this is really tiring and exhausting and all this sort of stuff. And that was partly because YouTube was very n new back then still like the the scene hadn't been fully set and uh i just didn't know what i was doing that was back when like it was a very different looking site um but i was also very busy with my own stuff then like uh what i started going to university later on in my life and i decided oh maybe i'll commit to more content stuff so uh i thought on it and kept thinking on it and nothing really would come out of it um then i eventually uh in one of the content communities that i watched um that I, I'll admit I had a good bit of uh, fun with and it really picked me up at some times. Um, I uh, got further along with it and I started running uh, events in it. That's the Zyko Land server for uh, Channel Zykozilla, I believe is what he's called it. 
Um, but point is, is that he, uh, like he allowed me to do these events and I kind of, uh, did a mix of like recording them and streaming them and like, that was a lot more fun. Then like several medical things happened between then and now and then, um, which caused me to stop having to do events or sort of regularly doing events and I've never really recovered fully into a state that I could do events again um and I'm gonna be perfectly honest most of the people on that server at the discord server um if I like talking with you uh you're probably on a different server that I'm already on so kind of uh Oh, did I not get a hit that time? I should be near guaranteed it, so the big problem is that I believe I've got thorns on here. Yeah, pretty substantial thorns. So he is actually just killing himself on me. What's that useful? Dragonborn. Increased protection and attack when airborne and draconic here. The head of the great beast allows you your tool a secondary ability slot. But w wait a minute. Wasn't that what I already did with the draconic head? Can you get more? You can get more? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, what other ability would I want then? I could use Gilded. And then I could get, um... Oh, some sharpness, maybe. I've already got luck. Probably don't need reach. I mean, like, yeah, I could do diamond and netherite. Oh, that sounds interesting. Exchanging. Um, silky, yeah. Tools, area effect. Last tools to pick up fluid on use and place fluids when sneaking. Also increases the tool can get a tank capacity by rounds it to the nearest thing. The side of the target locked glow, giving off light, placing a glow consumed danger really, which uh Yeah yeah. Uh, allow the tool to create paths similar to the thing, allow the tool to strip wood, allow the tool to till. And then you've got armor abilities, which Which have multiple recipes, fortune requires a different 
recipe for each level and recipes must be applied in order. Runs the grass, you see it, leave the path behind, increase the area effect. That sounds interesting. Tells, yeah. Grants nine slots that can be accessed by sneak and pressing the leggings. Interact key. That's plus one offhand slot per level, allowing swapping the offhand item by interacting with the leggings. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds really quite potent. I mean, like, so if I want unbreaking, I can get it quite easily. But do I want unbreaking or do I want, like, damage, maybe? Well, it's because how much does, uh... Let's see. Durability plus one attack damage. And... Plus 10% attack damage. I mean, it's so it's plus two attack damage or probably basically plus two attack damage. So it's just better to do that then. Okay, so. Sounds stupid. What we're going to do right now is just quickly. Uh, you know, just. All right, so it was. Needed three near the right in total. That's right, I need to also consider how what's required for this recipe. So I need three of those, a wither rose, and a, do I have a wither rose? I do. Then I need three of these then. And dragon's breath. And a diamond. If I'm remembering correctly. So we need to put in a... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, we also needed, what was it, gold apples. Oh, is it an alternative recipe? Oh, that's sad. Oh, well, I might as well still just do this then. all the upgrades uh what is that for give a tool six or more upgrade slots using writable no harmonious reserved and gilded so this is basically the maximum i can get oh, i just pissed off an enderman oh he's gonna keep teleporting when he smacks me because of fucking thing That makes me quite sad. I thought that that was like potentially a uh, a stacking effect, and if that was the case, that would have been really useful. I guess it didn't say it, so I should have 
like assumed that no yes yeah, single use it says right there fuck me i'm dumb ass all of these are single use yeah Yeah, oh, it doesn't seem like there's uh, anything else that will benefit me. Is there a way to automate getting rid of these? Because it's quite annoying. Well, now this has a lot more durability, I guess. So it's because it went from like 200 to 2000 now. Or 400, sorry, I think it was. And it has a lot, I think, slightly faster attack speed, right? Because of diamond? I'm not sure. Feels basically the same, but it's also the cleaver is fucking slow as shit now, normally, so. Oh. Sorry, it's still quite uh, early in the morning. But yeah, uh, where was I with the tangent? It's discussing kind of what I want my content to be. But yeah, I think genuinely what I want my content to be is just exactly that. Is um, the... Like your second monitor, you have this kind of uh, thing up. Or when you're trying to relax or something like that. Because again, like I'll sometimes uh, go to uh, the living room and sit on the couch watch some stuff while i do some things on my phone so i guess it's still kind of sim second monitoring it um but like again anyone that watches this like what kind of what are you what would you want to see from this kind of content because like i could do really excessively informative like i've kind of done in the past but like even then i still feel like that's something you'd have on your second monitor to relax and chill with um i mean like how would you like to see me uh testing the pack the the next one when uh a couple of mods are updated and uh, are actually usable and uh see the process of learning that because like i'm kind of doing that with art um like i'm practicing every day i'm doing like a daily exercises and stuff like that because i'm just kind of wanting to try and go from the ground up See here. There it is. Yos. Um, because like, I have a hesitation of not wanting to do like um, 
art tutorialing or anything like that because pure and simply while I'm good at teaching other people things better so than I can fucking learn myself um I do believe that uh I have a long ways to go before I can effectively teach what I'm trying to learn at the moment to a level that people would want on the internet because like that's the thing is uh I'm looking at a role at the moment one of the roles that I wanted to apply for that is uh like a drawing tutor role for like uh primary level kids I could do that that's more than within the window of things I could probably do because they won't be expecting high quality stuff they'll just want to know basic exercises and having fun with drawing which I would very much love to do that that sounds fucking awesome um but it would be down to um figuring it uh figuring stuff out with that but like that's the thing it's like i don't want to do drawing tutorials i probably wouldn't want to do a drawing tutorial for like a year basically at this point uh because for all intents and purposes i can see if i do this practice every day for a year that i'm doing i will drastically improve and at that point in time i'll be able to make up for a lot of the mistakes that i'm making like i'm going to even print off some um uh anatomy and pose reference um expression reference arts so i could use that to um like just have around the place so i'm getting that sort of stuff in my head because like at this point in time i think one of my weaknesses is anatomy um or like that sort of general concept of like how does the human body work i've already done those okay um even though like most of the time i'm drawing very like manga styled anime styled characters doesn't mean that uh that sort of stuff is completely thrown out the window in fact it's actually more difficult because you have to follow a different uh scheme for it all So, um, like that's the, that's the big thing. It's like, I'm, I'm doing a huge, massive bit of work to learn or relearn how to draw. Um, and I thought I would kind of for my own sake, document that process, uh, and draw and see what I could do. Um, cause like, that's one thing I really i'm glad i'm enjoying it again i think i've explained it very much in brief uh in the description of those videos because i've left a permanent description of what's going on with art for me but um in the first one i did i had a big long discussion at the beginning of it talking about how i was actually intending to do art as a profession at one point uh, it was my big, big main profession is doing uh, art, kind of like concept art and graphic design and stuff like that. And uh, during high school, I went, did it more intensely and the, the, the structure of the teaching, the teacher I had, uh, like there was all sorts of factors, but pure and simply 
I managed to kill my interest in wanting to do drawing. Um, because it was... There was a lot of problematic aspects to it. And pure and simply, there is no excuse other than I just lost a huge amount of interest in doing anything to do with art. And because of that, I just couldn't do it anymore. Like, I couldn't... I used to draw every... Just about every fucking day. Um... Every freaking day, sorry. Uh... I used to be draw on an extremely regular basis. And the fact that, like... Up until now, I might do three drawings a year and you could go it's like oh well like maybe you're doing big real intense drawings no that would be like three days of doing three different drawings and then just not touch art again for a year and that really was kind of sad for me because again i absolutely adored doing art it, i felt so I, I felt like I was using the parts of my brain that work the way they do to their fullest. Like, I, I'm an extremely creative individual. I like to come up with creative solutions for things and all that sort of stuff. And I can imagine quite grandiose things. That's why when I'm reviewing a story or a, a TV show or a movie... I can come up with answers as to why plot was what it was and why it could have been different and very much better. Um, but at the same time, I'm also a realist and I understand why they do what they do sometimes, even if I disagree with it. And due to all of those factors, like the art that I produce had a very high quality to it. but it could also be quite uh phantasmal an idea uh i mean dragons were the main thing i would draw for the majority of my uh early life uh, i fucking oh, sorry i i very much adored um pokemon because its designs were very weird and wacky and unique and because of that, I would constantly draw Pokemon. Uh, so if, if that gives an idea, and like I got, I mean, when I was drawing Pokemon, I was also drawing it like back when I was like f not even five. <laughs> Um, and like I proceeded to go into a bunch of art competitions and stuff like that, uh, or creative competitions in general, um, and ranked pretty highly in them, but at the same time, like I was also trying to do my best with other subjects, like I would uh, get, um, put in for a thing called Mathics, which is basically like the Math Olympics, it's very much like you get a team of uh, people from your school and region and such like that and uh, compete in mathematics uh, at speed which I remember explicitly like getting put forward for that not wanting to do it because um, I was put forward for it without my uh, agreement like they, they just saw I was doing that well with everything so what I ended up doing was to prove how much I didn't want to be there I would answer every question by uh with the answer as being like plus one or minus one what the actual answer was in a alternating pattern again this is like a seven year old So you can see that uh, even at that age, like I very much was apathetic to certain things. Um, but like that, they basically said it's like, 
they, they knew that I knew the answers because of that, but they also knew that I just didn't want to do it because I actively did my best to make sure, obviously, that I didn't get the answers correct. And I stand by that was one of the wisest decisions I have really ever made was to prove, yes, I could do it. So, like, don't go like, oh, it's a fluke of him doing all this math stuff. But, like, it meant that I didn't have to do the math X thing again. Because clearly I didn't want to be there. And I think I was also, like, the youngest kid there. Because, like, most of them, they get, uh, they got from year six, I think it is. Because that's the last year of uh, primary education here. Um, I think I was year three. Is it year three? Yeah, I think I was, like, seven or eight at the time, that's why. Um... I've got five heads. Huh. Do I think that's enough? Let's get like one more. I think. I think one more is a reasonable idea. Um, but yeah, no, like, so going back to art, like, I would do a lot on that, but it just, very much the more I focused on getting it done and doing it better and better and better, the more I realized how much I just didn't want to keep doing it, <laughs> until eventually, uh, yeah, no, it killed my interest for doing it, and it's taken bloody years for me to kind of drum up the I guess courage to get back to it and I'm glad that I'm going back to it like it's it's very very fun but it is also very uh annoying because now I'm like feeling like a beginner in some regards with some of the stuff that I'm doing because like I'm literally just drawing lines to practice my line work I'm drawing circles I'm drawing uh sh doing basic shading techniques but it's kind of that whole thing of you got to start somewhere. Like, um, I think next, maybe next stream I do for art, I'm going to actually show what I do for my daily practices because I'm going to do my daily practices after this. Well, I'm going to take a break after the stream and then do my daily practices because... I'll probably be kind of tired by the time I'm done with this. And then I've also got a meeting later today that I need to prepare for. Um, but like one thing that I was hearing, and this it's counterintuitive to kind of how I've been doing learning and exercises and stuff like that, uh, academic exercises as, as of recent, but um i've been very much hearing like try and make sure there's nothing to distract yourself while you're doing your art um and that means like no music or anything like that which i agree with the uh, rationale that the person used behind that argument because like as someone that studied academics yes the psychology for that is sound but it does kind of make me a little sad because like i do enjoy drawing to some music
I wonder how other people feel about that sort of idea. Like, do you enjoy, enjoy drawing to music or watching videos or do you do it in complete silence? Do you find like some ASMR or sort of thing to listen to while you're doing it? Do you watch TV? Or movies or something like that? And where do you do it? Because like I, I do it in my office at the moment because that's where I've got it all set up. But um, if I get the uh, funds for it, I'm going to switch to a tablet that can do the art itself uh probably just an ipad because i don't want to buy another laptop and that just kind of fills that request for me cool you um but if I got that, then I'd probably do it, like, while I'm sitting in the lounge as well. Or in the living room, I should say. Um, and, like, watching stuff. Because, like, I feel quite creative at those sorts of times. That's why in the past I would uh, do a lot of my drawing on the couch. Because, like, I'd watch TV and then I'd see something and then I'd uh, try and recreate it as best I could again welcome to my argument of why I drew a lot of Pokemon because I watched a lot of that when I was younger uh especially when I'd started getting into art Um, but yeah, oh, whoops. That's a point. I haven't looked at Ars Magica in a while. Not Ars Magica, Astral Sorcery. Uh, perks. Do I have any? No, don't have any perk points. Tragic. That's another mod that, like, okay, so going back to uh, a point that I was talking about before. So, um, I'm still designing the pack, but it's quite slow in progress so overall i'm not quite happy with that but it is it is what it is um one thing that's um sad me is that there's obviously a few mods that haven't updated astral sorcery has talked about doing an update to 118 i believe and if it does that i would be more than happy to add that to the pack um with some changes to it but like i don't know if it's worth holding out for it because again like the pack we're doing at the moment we're getting to kind of the end i mean like again i could see oh sorry i could still do create which i'm kind of interested in doing because again i've never done create before and i think that would be really cool um but like outside of that do i have a way of looking at my list of mods easily that give me stuff not really all the ores doesn't matter apotheosis we've kind of i mean we're still kind of going to finish it um because like the point is yeah um has never i mean like we haven't completely finished it but like also i don't really see it finishing it agriculture 2 kind of is just an add-on thing so it's not too substantial 
astral sorcery we haven't finished finished but we've more than done substantial um blood magic there's still more to do but yeah uh batania very much the same argument there's still more like subtle things i could do i could do into the potion systems um but like is nothing really substantial from it uh chisels cosmetic that's a core mod that doesn't actually have anything itself then yes yeah, so a create compact machines i haven't gotten into but that's kind of i mean i could do something with it but like i'm hesitant on going too far down that tree because it's there's some problems with the like i love this mod dearly but like there's nothing really i want to do with it because i typically love it because i'm playing in like a multiplayer server and then it becomes very reasonable um dark utilities i've done a little bit with some stuff but again it's a it's an add-on one um draconic evolution i mean that's going to be the end of the pack Elevator mod, yeah. Extra discs, yes, that's an add-on though, but we've done it. Uh, Ice and fire, I mean, we've, I would argue, more or less conquered the mod because we've got our own pet dragon. Um, industrial foregoing, I've just kind of used as a supplementary mod. This is a cosmetic mod with uh, macaws. Um, Pams, I just, I'm gonna be honest, I really should not have added this to the pack. I, I need to stop trying to add food mods. Um, Project Red, there's a couple of things I want to do with it, but other than... Oh, sorry. Those couple of things. Um, there's not really much I really want to do with it because it's a redstone mod. Like, that. that's just pure and simply it. um quirk is cosmetics and a little bit of interesting utilities refined storage we've gotten good bit into i feel thermal series i haven't really touched but again it's kind of the same as industrial foregoing it's kind of there uh tinkers we did early on um creative soul slot creative defense slot creative ability okay upgrade aquatic again cosmetic mod Waystones is cosmetic woot we've done now as well um we've done some stuff with it i feel like we came out pretty well with it <laughs> surprisingly enough yeah project is done and dusted more thermal more tinkers for healthier structures i mean we've done a little bit with and then it's just yeah more project stuff that i added in pipes so <sighs> I, I really do want to hear if people want to see create um like me touch upon create me finish off any of the mods that i've kind of started to work on but didn't commit to um like all that sort of stuff uh but outside of that yeah no we're down to like cosmetic changes that need to be done like i still need to finish these buildings here this area here i mean this entire area here that that like all of that needs to be fixed and changed um yeah it's basically kind of the whole argument 
So if you've got a desire to see some of that stuff done, let me know. Otherwise, I might uh, skip ahead a little bit. And uh, we'll get, once we do the Draconic Evolution, I'll stop doing Minecraft and wait until the mods I'm waiting for the pack to be done. I mean, at this point in time, I can near guarantee... Oh, something's getting flicked around. I want to come see it. Ah. Hey, ya buddy. How you doing? Yeah, it's still a hole here. Um, Alright, so we were going to do the shelves. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? before we do the shelves, so I want to find another means for experience. Because we've got a lot of bottles of experience. I want to use these. So no way of like potentially drinking. No. So that's uh Knowledge of the Ages. I don't know how to get these enchantments. I'm gonna look it up quickly.
No, that's not what I'm reading here. What? That's not what I googled. Okay, um... Uh, blah blah blah, involving enchantments and the blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Okay, yeah, so I'm kind of screwed. I don't think I can get that without randomly finding it. Because, uh, so, as an explanation, uh, to do the enchanting for this, you need the enchanting table that it has here. The enchanting table is the vanilla enchanting table. Now, if you realize that we've also got apotheosis, it means that those two don't work together. There is no way for me to get this. So I have to try and get these, and that means I'm trying to find that one thing yeah no it's just not gonna happen that one but well, that would be really really useful while I'm doing my farming but it's just not gonna happen oh well Uh, no, so we were going to just get this done then. Do what I know what... Do what I know, basically. Uh, so... In apotheosis, we want... Uh... This one. The Draconic Inn Shelf. And we need how many of these? Uh, we need 20 things, so five? Yeah, I think it's five. 
Sorry, I just had to quickly look at something. Um, so we need in shelves. And they're relatively easy to do. So normal in shelf, we need in stone bricks. Oops. I have in stone. Is it just going to be? Yeah. Okay. Then it was some dragon breath. Ender pearl and bookshelf. And then to do the draconic one, we need a lot of ender pearls. Okay. So we've got the five we need for that. Um, what was... Oh, can't I just look at it and see it? Uh, yeah. So, I need... So, all of them positive being good. But with the charms to get the unbreakable enchantment, we need exactly... So, we need 50. We need 85, 95. And we need 8.5 and 3.5. So, we need... No bloody quanta. And we need high arcana. So what gives us that probably sea shelf? Because hell shelf gives quanta quite in spades. Yeah, so we need the C shelf either infused or heart forged. What's heart forged? Do we have heart in the C? No, we still don't. I can't remember how to get them. But I can get uh, C infused quite easily. If I don't still just have some line around. That's Chris line. We won't just see infused. Oh, infusion requires 60. And the cost. It's quite a bit. Um...
You know what we should do? Is we should automate the process of making the enchantment charm. Should we not? Like, don't get me wrong, we're going to try, we're, the entire process we're trying to do at the moment is to make it so we don't have to do this. But, I'm pretty sure I can automate brewing. I need two brewing stands. Let's try it. So, ooh, this is going to be weird and wacky. I'm just going to drop these things off. Okay, then we're going to also want an import. Uh, yeah, just the two. A couple of crafters. Uh, we're going to want to just do blaze powder via export. Uh, whoops. My brain is not going where I want it to. Because awkward potions emceeable, it's the latest stuff that isn't. And then export. I'll also need cables. Okay, so that's going into the correct slot. I'm just going to turn that to fluid for the moment so I can put in this. Actually, I should have done a little bit more. Because I need to at least have one of those as well.
so now if I go in here, I can request that. Maybe. It doesn't need to be on its side. That's quite possible. Uh, you know, I just realized. Try this time. The export buster works, but the crafter doesn't. I'm wondering if the base crafted works. The refined one. Nope, that doesn't seem to be working either. There is a very simple answer, and it, well, I say simple, it's a very easy answer, but it just really is so annoying. Oh. 
Game didn't like that. Okay, so you're ready for the really annoying thing that I remember having to do a lot with uh, the auto crafting in this game. Wait, I'm just going to double check that there's no uh, like potion crafter. Uh, That makes this easier. There it is. Okay. We'll just make that. No, it's gonna need And then we're going to need the cable. And then I need the crystal binder. And then we can try Oh, do I need to bloody convert it? I'm already using a shitload of it.
Okay. I see what the problem is. Cancel all. This is very frustrating. Okay. This is very, very misinforming. Uh, I just want to stress that. Okay, so... How do I, like, put in it as fluid? Because it looks like I need to put in... This? No? Wait, what? Brewing input. It's not that. 
I really hate this because it's like, okay, no, it's exactly the same as the brewing thing. It's not. It's nothing fucking like it. Do I need... Anything else of fucking cross potions? Okay, so it's going to get real bloody stupid. You can fuck off. Yeah, it should be right. Uh, then we need another one of these. Okay, so we need the awkward potion mixture. It's going to be annoying. Uh, this one. Then that can be used to make
this. Which then that can be used to make... I have to find it, seriously. Knowledge 2. And then this liquid can be used in this. Can I... Why can't I easily use this? Uh, why does it say that I can use it with fluids but I fucking can't Yangi. Trying to think the easiest way of doing this. Glad to see I'm paying attention. Interesting. It really doesn't like the idea of pulling that from a bucket. Which is not all too surprising, I guess.
How do I see my fluids in this menu? Are they at the very bottom? Which, yes, by the way, there is a lot of enchanted stuff. No? Uh, d -d -d Fluid grid is that thing, right? Yeah. Those are network receivers. Yeah. Um. Unless I want to just make it permanently exporting and creating these. You know what? I have an answer and it's a stupid answer, but it's an answer nonetheless. No, it's... Uh so what is it that actually makes these potions? We'll just fucking click here. Copper gear. Cool. Will this work? Bugger! Okay, I have no idea how to do this now. You know, trying to figure out a way to autocraft potions is a lot harder than I thought. I don't think there's an easy way for me to do this.
What? Okay. Okay. All right. And then I need Okay. I'm going to Take this out. We're going to cancel all. We're going to try and make a recipe. Very painfully so. So we need to find, it's this one. Okay. We need to get rid of this. The teacher that it makes one. Four of these. This is a very painful recipe but hey it works okay let's just Put in a bunch of these and change this to that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. They took a lot of problem solving.
And yes, this is just the easiest answer for it all. So if we look here, this is getting that, that's getting that, that's getting to there, and that's getting it there. Nice. Oh, yeah. And now I can easily make these uh, charms, even though like I'm literally designing everything so I don't have to do this anymore. It's great. Optimizing itself just to remove itself. It's, it's something that I'm kind of annoyed at, right? Because uh, at this stage in the game, I feel like I shouldn't be doing this, but that's kind of my own fault for not progressing. It's like I felt like I had to go backwards a few steps to answer this query. I don't know. That's just a personal thought on it. But yeah, like I'm making more of these charms just so I can make the charm unbreakable so I can permanently have the effect. Um, I still need to keep my eye out for when I get like the uh, little random raid fellas turn up or I need to go find one of those watchtowers I think I can find dudes to kill there that give me the ominous buff oh game's having a chug there we go. I do need to speed that up. But we've got a way of automatically doing the charms now, which means we can go quickly gain a bunch of EXP. Just a reminder, by the way, these are still not enchanted. They are just glowing for the sake of glowing. And yes, the only reason I'm using this item in the uh, thing is because it was the most expensive that doesn't, like, do anything, really. So if I do this, and then... It's this button. There we go. Oh. And then we get EXP really, really quickly. I'm actually just going to turn that down because that's really oppressive. Uh, I hope they turn that going down for you guys as well. So I'm going to quickly Google what actually drops the totem. It's dropped in evoke by evokers. Yeah. So I'm correct. It's a focus.
That's well, good to know. But yeah, okay. So the next step is to use this experience to infuse those shells. Then infuse those shells to, um... Hmm. Sorry, just thinking of for a moment. So infuse those shells, get the next enchanting thing so I can make unbreakable charms. And then when I make an unbreakable charm, that means I can make... I think at this point in time, I'm still trying to decide what I want for my charm. Like, it's because I think the easy answers are regeneration, absorption, experience. But what else? Let's turn off the auto effect for a split second and think about this. So we have absorption, which we can get up to absorption four, which gives eight hearts, I believe. Angicite, dolphins, fire resistance, fly haste, invisibility, jump boost knowledge which we want so absorption knowledge yeah luck yeah. maybe regeneration three i don't know what repellence is off the top of my head resistance uh we can only get resistance too but it might still be worth it um I think yeah that's one that I want to give to others Because at the moment, what charm do I actually have equipped? Nothing, right? Because I take it, I take it away. Maybe we just get one of these uh, as a charm in there, and then another one as a courier. Well, I mean, like they can be literally inside my inventory. I need to quickly get back so I can fix the game because it's starting to die because it's spawning so much. There we go. Um, yeah, I think it's genuinely just absorption, regeneration, and knowledge, right? Those are the only ones that I think would be consistently useful. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's head back to the homestead then.
and start getting this enchanting done. Game's having a hard time because I kind of let it push a little bit too far just then. As well as we've been streaming for a bit over two hours now, so it's about now that the game starts to deteriorate the most. Okay. So with this... So how many do we need of this? I'm gonna need something to bring up the Eternia, but like that's... Kind of expected, because I need a bit of a uh, thing anyway, right? just click on that so i need at least 8.5 so i need something to make the difference between the 27 and the 30 so like two blazing hell shells because what was the maximum again it needs to be yeah so two blazing hell shells And if I need to minus quanta, I will. So if that's the case, let's just work on the aim of getting this to 27. So let's pull up a fucking calculator. A friggin' calculator coming in. Uh, so we need 1. 1.8... Sorry, no, that's the wrong way to do this maths. I need 27 divided by 1.8. 15. I need 15 of these shelves. Okay, that's 12, 13, 14, and 15. There we go. Oh, what? Okay. Then we get ourselves the enchanting table to figure out where we're at with the stats. Too much quanta. So I need a minus quanta and increase arcana and increase eterna by 3%. So I need something to bridge that final gap, which I think the end shelf can do. Oh my god, the game is just dying at this point. I think we I'm, I'm going to try and push through to see if we can get the shelf to the right balancing, but... If it keeps up with this, then... Yes, yeah, so just one in shelf will get us there, but we need to start minusing quanta. So what offers minus quanta? melon shelf but it minuses a turner
Oh my god, get in please. Work with me, bud. So we need... Oh, this is gonna be annoying. First of all, let's figure out how to make the melon shelf. Go through melon slices and bookshelf. God, this is a race against, like, until the pack just starts to die. Okay, so we need a lot more arcana. What gives a buttload of arcana? That does. does but I can't do it because I don't have the heart that does as well uh, so far it's looking like this is the best option and it's an emceeable option and it means I could just replace this with it so we need some end rods and some ender pearls. God, this lag is killing me. Okay. So I've got still a few, little bit more I can work with in terms of size. I've still got one, uh, ten more blocks to work with to get this cleaned up with I believe only 10 game please I just want to okay the arcana is getting there I believe that's about right. Yeah. So now I just need to hugely pull down. I'm gonna lock myself inside. I need a lot less quanta. and they go too low what is the lowest I can go with this 85 oh I have quite a bit more room to wiggle okay yeah I should just need to replace like one of these right no I need to replace one of the other shelves 
Actually, I could replace possibly quite a few of the seashells, can't I? In retrospect. Yeah, I should replace seashells with uh, melon. Oh my god! It feels so cop out to not finish at this stage. It's kind of my thought. So it's too low now, which means that we replace one of these with this. Need to go a little bit more. That oh, just goes a little bit over. Uh, That's too far down now. <laughs> Alright. So it needs to be... So it's 85 to 95 and 8.5 to 13. So if I replace one of you with... You. That's too high on the Arcana now. So do I actually need to put it in a C shelf? I need to... Oh my god. Game, please. It's taking up like 60, 70% of my fucking computer right now. This is painful. This is really painful. You know what? I'm not going to end it here. What we're going to do so I'm going to quickly restart the game. And I say quickly, I mean it's going to be probably like a solid 10 minutes. Give me a moment. The painful process of closing the game while it's constantly fucking not responding. I need to stop swearing so much. I, I use a lot of casual swearing. And I feel like that's probably detrimental in the long term. It's just very much the Kiwi nature. Like, we weasel in a lot of uh, just casual F-words and 
Nazi words and yeah, it's the main ones. Ah, oh, we also call people dicks all the time. Oh shit, head. Fuck what? Yeah, basically shit, fuck, dick, cunt are the main swears of New Zealand. So I apologize if any of those offend. Uh, but trust me when I say I do not mean them in any offensive way. They're basically just our generic uh, things. Now I apologize if the stream lags a little bit while I'm relaunching the game. Just a second. If I have a look-see. That doesn't equal that. What's going on? Very strange. Yep, anyway. Again, apologies that the stream may lag a little bit in the upcoming time, because it's just how it is. I think the audio should be relatively fine, but the video might be quite choppy for a little bit, so you'll see me juttering about. It's just how it is launching a pack like this. I really don't want to get a better computer, but like that's very far down the line of things. Yo, someone want to sponsor me with a computer? But obviously it has to be better than the one I have now, which is not impossible, but you're definitely getting quite a lot of newer stuff if you have to do that. Because I think at this point in time, I've said to myself, the reason why I want to get a second PC is that if I would want to increase my work productivity as well as streaming pro uh, chances, I actually want to have two computers. Um, and I'll use this computer as the streaming computer, and then the other computer as the gaming computer. So I'll play games on that, and uh, that way I can use a capture card on this current one that I'll need to go buy one, obviously. Uh, but, like, again, this computer I've got, it's got, like, fucking absurd... Sorry. It's got very absurd RAM usage. Like, it's got really, really good. Uh, I think it's got, like, 32 gigabyte. Is it 32 or is it 64? I can't remember. I put in a lot of RAM. Um, it's just the CPU is starting to waver and the motherboard's not really capable of too much of an upgrade. Um, but I could probably upgrade the graphics card and like that sounds nice and all that, but the GPU is not what's getting destroyed right now. It's the CPU. And like the CPU could handle streaming pretty fine on its own like it would barely notice it so i could actually handle quite a few programs at the same time but i can't uh do the same the rest of the time
Hello, Minecraft. To be detected by Streamlabs. There we go. It's like, yes, I know to start a game because it's fucking starting. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? God damn it. All right, come on. Guess we're going to the three hour marker at this point, as, which isn't a bad thing. Again, normally the reason why I don't is because I'm just tired in my own right, or uh, I don't feel that I've got enough content to really keep going with. Okay, so we're just slightly high of Arcana. Oops. Now we're too low on quanta. Now we're too high on quanta. That should be it. Oh, yes. So, let's do this with a fresh charm. The bloody elevator's gonna work. Okay, okay. Probably gonna have to restart my computer after this, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, force break. Unbreakable. So now, this is a permanent effect on our person. Now I have the question of if I use it on one that's already broken a little, what does that do? So we've got absorption here. Oh, it completely resets it, so it didn't actually matter. Nice. Let's go. You done it, fam. <laughs> that took a long time, a lot of work, but it succeeded. We've now got absorption and uh, four and knowledge two permanently. No reason why we wouldn't keep those effects on. Now it's about regeneration three. Because I believe we don't have regeneration three yet because that requires trading.
Yeah, goblin traders, specifically. So we need to spawn one of our little goblin boys. What's up, bro? I cannot remember if there's any, like, clear-cut rules for goblin traders spawning. Also, yeah, now all those times I killed a goblin just because, haha, funny. Seem pretty stupid, huh? Looking for green markers on the map. I guess that's something I'm just going to have to look for. How about, with the little bit of time we have left, we try scouting around for some pillagers and uh, likes. That's awesome. There we go. I'm I'm really happy that we've managed to get to that enchanting point now because like this just improves so many things for us. Oh, actually, that's a point. I was going to put one of these on me. Just as a, a durability tick up. Oh, hi, yeah, mate.
I wonder if there is a thing in uh, this pack that I've got that disables Enderman teleporting. Because that's the. So, what's happening with all of these Endermen if it's been wandered uh, is because of the auto spawner I have, it's basically just spawning a bunch of them, and some of them are just happening to teleport before they get the kill on them. So, they're just teleporting away and sticking around for however long they wish and that's not a good thing because that means that they take up spawns because minecraft can only spawn so many things happily I don't feel good about that. But yeah, that's kind of why there's uh, so much crap around the place. Peanuts and strawberries. Oh, I was not that far away from their village. That was kind of awkward. I'm going to pull this out just in case I do come across a fella. An evoker, I believe it's the name. We'll have a quick squiz around for anything that might have them in it. So, I'm loading new areas. The game's having a hard chug. Fairies. Fairies are not so pleasant. I 
I still don't know how to get uh, Heart of the Sea. These are all just pillages, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Pog, this is where the scary ghost is, right? Very scary, guys. I do not like this area because it's harder to traverse. Oh no, that's just another armor. Is that one of the things I'm thinking of? Or is that just one of the Apotheosis Towers or a Dungeon Tower? Let's have a look. It's probably not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is kind of like a watchtower. It has a bunch of pillages in it and it has actually a spawn thing for them. So they'll keep spawning. No, that's just it. Yeah. And I believe... Here we go. Some of them that can spawn can drop the omen effect. It does take ages though. Yes. Where's the nearest uh, village? Where's my village that I use? It's over here. I don't know if I like that. I think we'll try and use this village. So if I go a little bit more over this way and then south to avoid the other village. I'm just gonna grab some cobblestone for I'm sure if you've done these before you know the reason so it is now off direction here Go inside your f homes.
Oh, lagging a little bit. Alright, I got two villages in here that should, by all intents and purposes, stay safe. Okay, where is this dude? Apparently he's at the same level as me there. Is there another cave over here? There indeed is. It seems you respawned over here. Okay. Well, that was an easy round. Okay. 
Okay, where are they spawning? There. <laughs> Get fucked. Come on. Come on. So we've got one kill. Which is an easier way of seeing, but I'm gonna have to just go open my inventory every time. Okay. An unemployed child. There is several layers to that that could potentially be quite problematic if you thought on it further. But I'm going to leave that alone. Stand still. I believe fully programmed. <laughs> Victory! Cool. Well, now that we've got that victory under our belts, let's quickly make a shard out of this and see if we can get the evoker drops. So 
So I need plate and prism. And then I need a hammer, which is there. Nice, now that's programmed with Evoker. So let's go in here and place it there. So now if we look in here, we've got Evoker and yes, Get a totem of undying every time, apparently. Would you have a look at that? So Woot's really good for invokers, because you just get totems of undying. So now I can infinitely generate uh, Terms of Undying. I have permanent absorption knowledge and I can try and get regeneration the moment I see a goblin. I think we're really starting to get to the final reaches. Of like what's actually doable. And just double checking, yeah, no, still no more perks available, which is sad. Like, I've even tried to increase experience gain as much as I can, but it's just... not gonna happen i think at this point uh astral sorcery ramps up too much at the end of it and it means that if you do actually enable the higher amounts of uh perks you're just not gonna reach them and that's a goblin trader do you have the potion that i want you don't that's tragic for you. Thanks for the apples though. So. <laughs> in case you didn't know that I could start getting really OP. You get plenty of effects on you at a time. Um... I think at this stage I just want the regen 3 and then like I think that's more or less the just about done I still obviously need to enchant all that sort of stuff and figure that out um bodies counted for client stars not gonna work charm can be just about anything and head there is no good head options from memory because it's like spectator I think it's one of the only ones that really works or does anything because those two we've already got the pieces for uh I don't think those go into curios I think they're like a separate thing 
None of that goes into Curio, I don't believe. And those just screw over our current flight system. Even though they're very cosmetically cool looking. I don't think there is anything left that's substantial for us to uh, try and get now. And with the sheer amount of EMC we're also generating, nothing really is too out of the question for us. So, yeah, I think we'll leave it up there for today. Um, that was uh, slightly longer than I intended everything, but with all the stuff that happened, it worked out. I mean, I'm not against doing slightly longer streams, and if, after all, it's just... Uh... I don't want to do long streams for the sake of doing long streams. I want to do long streams when I've got a reason to do long streams. And today was a reason to do long streams because we had a lot of things. Point is, we've got quite a lot of power now. We've been able to make um, unbreakable charms. Um, now I can just leave it AFK farming EXP for an eternity without ever worrying so i might leave it to do that i've now also got with this in here to reappear a lot more possible um and yeah no so i can actually start like enchanting up this armor and actually getting it to being what it deserves it deserves to be so with that being the case i'm gonna leave off now and uh we're going to do the old outro. So again, uh, let's just do, 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 do. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, today. Um, tomorrow will probably be uh, Devil May Cry 5 more uh finishing off probably the virgil campaign uh aside from that yep that should be everything so if you enjoyed the video leaving a like and comment really helps it out uh because it the way the youtube algorithm works if you want to follow along with more of this content and have another thing to just have in the background and do your work to that's perfectly fine i'm gonna try and write down tangents a lot more and stuff like that just so um that's something for me to do while i'm doing it uh aside from that yeah i think that's everything so i hope to see you again next time until then bye bye